Sarah McGregor from Senior Perspectives. Tonight we are going to try something very different than what we've usually done, which is going to be for people to call in and ask my guests questions and, uh, about Peters Township. And uh, so when we get phone calls, then uh, we will try to answer your questions. So in the meantime, we'll probably talk a little bit about the township. So uh, who wants to start? First of all, this is Boyd Roach and uh, Tina Wagner, or Catherine Wagner. I've known her as Tina for all. Oh, forever, that's Tina. So. Yeah. yeah, it's she Tina. She was a cheerleader. Yeah. There we go. Uh, cheerleader in Peters Township. Uh -huh. um, I don't know whether we really want to be one of the oldest people of Peters Township <laughs> or not. I mean, uh, that, I'm not sure of that. Well, yet. we're getting there, but we're not there yet. Well, <laughs> I kind of start from the 1700s, oh. my family. Oh. So I, I've been here for quite a while. So uh, I've probably forgotten. You better catch me now, or I will forget probably uh, what has gone on. But uh, anybody has any interest that, uh, that they would like to know, uh, uh, we'll try to answer some questions. And uh, I, of course, have been here before even Route 19 was, in, which was built uh, uh, supposedly back during the war for convoys, army convoy trucks. And during my youth, I watched them build it. And uh, you probably don't even remember the streetcar trolley line that went down through um, right along right Route 19. It went from Pittsburgh to uh, Little Washington. So yeah. I don't hear the phones ringing. In fact, I don't even see a phone. <laughs> That but, was called uh, Old Washington Road. That was Old Washington, Old Washington Road, Road. and uh, at the time that I was uh, very young, it was a, what we called a red dog. It was a red dog road, yeah. and uh, uh, Dave Snodgrass worked on a red road crew and uh, put the red dog on the road. You don't even know what red dog is. No. <laughs> a product of a right. product of steel mills, mm -hmm. that, and, which they don't have anymore. So before that, it was mud. That uh, I have some pictures of that, and uh, our family happened to be on both sides of that that uh, old Washington Road at that time. But uh, and Tina just lived up the up the just road a little road ways from where yeah. where I lived, and across from where she lived, across 19, about where uh, Pizzazz is. There was a a log cabin that the Bioni family had. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I didn't know. There was a that. log cabin over there, and uh, we used to play basketball in the barn mm -hmm. of that. And there's still uh, Angelo Bioni, hired Bioni, was killed in the war, and they, uh, the Bionis still live uh, around Hill Station, Lawrence. May uh, and Million. Yeah, and with Walter. Dolores and May, mm -hmm. Angelo. And they had no electricity. No. And well, that's they had nothing. We didn't either. <coughs> <laughs> it was really a log cabin. So um, at that time, uh, of course, we were interested in basketball. We didn't have the, the football and uh, uh, soccer and such things that we right. had. Uh, when I played, we had a pretty good team, but we had eight, eight people to play. Five played and three reserves uh, were the ones that weren't too good. So, <laughs> sorry, some of you guys, they're still around. <laughs> but we did have a good time. The, or the only one team that we couldn't beat was uh, East Washington. Malmberg, Palmer, Rankin, left of which. We could not beat them because they had six, six feet tall people. We, our mm -hmm. tallest man was Bob Shooter at 5'10", uh, center. <laughs> Yeah, but one time we beat them and we got the, the day off from school. Did we, I don't remember, what time my days, we, we beat never them beat one East time Washington. And uh, we oh. got the day off. Mm -hmm. In Shark Tears, we would always split. Mm -hmm. We that, would split. Excuse me, that was the time that um, Bob Fisher, Bob Matthews, Bill Dane, uh, Norman Sims, who was the other one? Bill McMurray. Uh, they had a champion team and they went mm. to Mount Lebanon to, for the playoffs and they got whooped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, uh, of course, the uh, 
you didn't have to run as far in the, the basketball court then. They weren't quite yeah, as large they as they are now. They were different. Uh, and uh, I still can't uh, watch professional foot or, or basketball because of the rules that they have. I mean, they double dribble. They hang on a basket, which we, you weren't allowed to do. Yeah. And Slam dunk. Yes, <laughs> they could, you touched the net, the goal didn't count. Palm the ball, then it's the other team's ball, and they do it all the time now. Yeah, so, um, well, no questions from the world, the outside yeah. world. <laughs> Where's the telephone anyhow? <laughs> hey Sam, where are you? <laughs> so, Give us a call. It's dinner time, I'm afraid. Yeah. I think my wife is sitting there and she says, now don't get in trouble. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tina, how about you with some of your memories? Well, when they played basketball, I had to get out there and cheerlead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we had a good time. We went on the bus with the uh, players. And, um, well, you know, it's exciting to be watching all these guys. and. It would have been nice if we would have been the champions all the time. <laughs> we had to cheer whether, whether we were champions or not. But anyway, we were always enthusiastic about our team. And the worst time I ever had cheering, we went to, uh, excuse me, I'll have to continue. We're taking a commercial Go break. ahead. No, that's true. Oh, okay. Um, we went to Bridgeville, and I had never, we were not allowed to boo or be derogatory to the other team. But in Bridgeville, they, uh, they stamped their feet, they screamed, they hollered, we couldn't even cheer. <laughs> so we never went back there, of course. <laughs> but uh, they said we were out in the sticks. But, uh, Our trips were long. We didn't have the highways. Went to Vela, Bellsville, West Alexander. Oh, you Those really were long were. trips because yeah. mm -hmm. you didn't have the highways. Yeah. So we're going to take a uh, short commercial break so we'll be back in just a few seconds. Thank you. The care is to, to help the people when they're in the time of need because they also have dreams just like we do. We feel bad and we need help sometimes. If no one would be there to take care of me, I would just feel like crying. I wouldn't be happy if I couldn't eat for a few days. I couldn't feed myself and I couldn't take care of myself. I know that I can always turn to somebody when I have any troubles and they will help me. But there are other people who have much harder problems. They wouldn't have anywhere to live. They wouldn't have food. How can you sleep under a roof and in a cozy bed when some people are out there with nothing? It's like to them having a big brother or a big sister looking out for them. Care for other people so they can care for you. Kara, how many lives can you change today? Every time an adult gives up on our kids, every time we surrender to the belief that their future is out of our hands, every time we say their problems aren't my problem, another child is left behind. I'm General Colin Powell, and I don't believe in giving up. That's why I'm heading America's Promise, a movement that gives adults just like you and me the chance to get involved and help our kids develop the character and competence they need. Reach out and join America's Promise. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you can do something important. Log on to americaspromise.org and find out how you can help in your hometown. Or give us a call. Pull your weight. The future of our kids is writing. Hi, we're back again, and uh, hopefully you will give us a call. And don't forget, the number is 942-0136. I have all my guests here that are just waiting to answer all your questions, and we have a new member here, Herman Meckes, and uh, so he will be able to give you lots of answers, too. So um, give us a call at 942-0136. Thank you. And we're going to talk a little bit about the township now. So maybe between all three of them here, you can learn something, even though you're not calling. Herman's down the other, other end oh, of the yes, township. Sir. 
But, uh, I had oh, been, yeah. not the past 27 years, but prior to that I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You start with Venetia, Hackett, Hackett Rankin Town. Well, Rankin Town Rankin wasn't in Peters Township. No. Well, we considered it that. Oh, Rankin did you? Well, and then right into Finleyville. Yeah, we had a few uh, yeah. people uh, from there. Angamers were there. Right. Mm -hmm. They right. were up there. Right. And went to, uh, a couple of others. Mm -hmm. yes. They well, had a choice. There's not that many on. houses in Rankin Town. Yeah, well, roadsides lined up, Mike. <laughs> well, Andrew was there, and Pardon? Rifko was from uh, Yes, Rankin yes, Town. definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Finneyville has the Adelphia Cable, so Good. they get this channel. Yeah. Didn't you say they get mm -hmm. channel? Finneyville, yeah. They, have mm -hmm. they get channel I think the, the uh, big spot of uh, Venetia, of course, was Bill Bartram's right. service right. station. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember And Bill that. drove uh, buses, bu a bus he had for yeah. Peters Township. Well, he was my bus driver. Did he? he also mm -hmm. drove the bus for uh, the basketball team and yeah. the mm -hmm. baseball team, yeah. too. And what about McGonaghy store? Oh, yeah. Which is now the country store. Which is now owned by... The location is uh, there. But Kenny the Lash. Kenny Lash, Kenny which Lash. was uh, Chuck got, Lash's got from son. From Freddie Wardle. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, of course well, I, I remember Mr. Bartram. He was my bus driver. And then when my son went to school, he was his bus driver. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I was down here waiting yeah. with Tony to get on the bus, and Mr. Buckman says, hey, Arm, come on, you want to go too? <laughs> <laughs> I think he had one bus in Doc Townsend had uh, two. the rest of the buses. Yes, he had yeah. two or two, three, two or three started buses. started with yeah. two. And then Shorty, Bo Shorty Fife drove one, and uh, Doc drove one when he was able. And then Boyd, right. the son, drove one. And then, yeah, Doc drove the bus when I went to school. I heard he was very strict. Oh, yes, he Bill tried Parker to be. Wasn't he tried to be. <laughs> <laughs> we were, times haven't changed that much, I don't think, with yeah. the children on a bus. Jumping yes, it's down. changed somewhat. Yeah, it's changed yeah, it, We were more uh, I came following the bus up the highway one day and they were throwing knapsacks out the window. Oh, my. No. I, <laughs> and in our days, they it just the bus wouldn't have been. Off. <laughs> no, it would not have been. Nor yeah. would you have gotten up out of your seat. Yeah. Right. You, weren't allowed you sat in that seat. You did not move out of that seat. Mm -hmm. nope. Or you were not riding the bus. That's right. No. So... It's a little different now, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, a lot of them are driving now, too, instead of where... Oh, yes, you look at the, the lots of... I don't think there were more than two or three times that someone drove to school. When we didn't have to worry about driving to school. <laughs> didn't have well, any car to drive to school. That's right. <laughs> you remember, oh, yeah. no, you wouldn't remember it, but that old Model T Ford that uh, Bob Bartram and... Uh, 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 Bill. Bill, Bill, and, Bill, Bill and, Bob? and Bob Bartram. Bill and Bob Bartram, was mm -hmm. they the two that had this old Ford car? Yes. Mm -hmm. well, we all piled on that thing and rode it around the school, in the schoolyards. We used to go with uh, the Cushy's beer distributor trucks when I was there. <laughs> front seat, you know, and uh -huh. four people in the front seat. <laughs> I, see, I remember that was our, when we were little and skinny, huh? Right. <laughs> I remember our first car, it was a Model A Ford. Mm -hmm. when I was, a little kid. First mm -hmm. one of the Model A. I wish I had it now. Yes. I, yeah. You look yeah. back on some of the automobiles you had. I remember the 65 T-Bird convertible I had. If it. Oh, tell it, me, there's a call. Oh, we have a call. Your wife okay. no. is looking for you. Okay, <laughs> what kind of retail establishments were around Peters back then? Who wants to answer that one? We had McMurray. Retail establishments. I have a hard store. time thinking of one. Well, McConaughey store, store was probably. McConaughey store and then McMurray uh, were the, well, the, the dairy bar. bar. The dairy bar dairy was just. Dairy bar, but uh, it was just it was the just food. Just it had wasn't yeah. candy no. and uh, candy pop. Candy and gasoline. And pop. <laughs> Any other and merchandise. Post office. Was, there McConaughey was, uh, store was the only one that had little Crossroads. Bit. There wasn't anything at the crossroads. Well, there wasn't a, no. No, you, well, you did your shopping in uh, Cannonsburg, or you it took, all day, it took you all day to drive to Washington. Finleyville, we had well, stores, there was, department uh, stores too. There was probably a meat store in Finleyville, I, I, I'll I, bet. Uh, oh, yes, Dubs' uh, Market. And then we had the... Uh, Ludit's Hardware. The uh, Ludit's yeah. Hardware. Calories probably had a market down there, didn't yeah. they? Oh, yes, but then there were uh, two department stores. The Rosenberg and the Home Store. Yeah, okay. yeah. The Home Store. And then we had two drugstores, 
Finland and furniture. Finland was there. furniture there, Teplitz was there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we had. There was quite a bit then. There were no yeah. other. Drug of course, they're not now. They're not in Peters well, the Township. the first one. No, they're, they're right Peter's outside. They're not, they're not in Peters. They're not in Peters. The only they're, ones they're, were McConaughey's. Then we had little grocery stores of Zupan and Charles Talbot. And you then went to A and P in Canisburg usually. You just there wasn't yes, anything. Yes, well, that's they, out of the township to too. In but Peters. in Peters, no, no. In Peters. but there was none until I guess the crossroads were developed. Dawson's so. Dawson's grocery store came in across. Let's see, Dawson's, Dawson's? was on the uh, Road. Hmm, what's across from it? Below the cemetery on on 19 before you uh, before you get to the service station there across from the new new construction there mm -hmm. there was a Dawson's that was a fruit stand wasn't it they well, sort of but he had a little grocery yeah. store in there well Dawson's. the grocery and there was a stores there were there. Uh, Moreland's Moreland's drug store went uh -oh. in uh, some years later in there yes that was quite a few then there yeah. was a drug store down at the uh, corner of uh, Valley Brook Road well, where that they was put the new bridge in. Where the telephone office used right, to be. Right, right. Yeah. They put well, a drugstore mm -hmm. in there. That's the same one that's moved out to the Krebs Center, I believe, or where it's no, was Krebs uh, Center. that one was O'Brien. They, they, uh, well, he went out there first. Then you had a lumber yard. Uh, right oh, about where yeah, right. The, that uh, was it. Yeah, I even worked there. Is, uh, that Murray, was, uh, uh, McMurray. He was a I. principal down at Oh, yeah, Herman Bennett. Herman Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. That was the only time I remember three Harmons working in the same place of business. <laughs> Harmon Cushy, Harmon Bennett, and myself. <laughs> You'll find three <laughs> Ikes, maybe three Bills or Joes, but never three Harmons, <laughs> except once. Uh -huh. And they had just about a pharmacy was down where the telephone office yes. was. Yes, yes. For a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, that telephone office down there was the old one with the earphones on and putting plugs in <laughs> yeah. like that's so how they did it. Martha Latterer, Martha Miller Latterer she worked the there. Thing, didn't yeah. Yeah. She was the only one. Probably. No, there was three of them. Oh, Anna was there May three? was there, too, at the same time. <laughs> Anna May, uh, I thought there was only one down there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you were hard-pressed for a retail store in Petersburg. Right. You had to go to Cannesburg, Monongahela, Finleyville, or... Washington. Some people Washington. went to uh, Carnegie. My mother would go to Carnegie. Yes, it would all depend. Family. We never went that direction. We always yeah. went the other. Some people went way. to Bridgeville. Bethel. Could we be. always went to Cannonsburg, or we went mm -hmm. to Finleyville, mm -hmm. and that, that's where we would or go. Or Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Very seldom. That was Very a big seldom. trip there. Oh though. yeah, big trip. <laughs> yeah. Never went to, we always went to Washington. Because that was an mm -hmm. all-day trip. You wound around Old Washington Road to get there. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. really. Where are we going to go in Peter's Were Township? Were you on a horse and buggy? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it still took an all-day They still tour. went down the road, though, I remember when I was a kid. There were a couple of them. Oh, yeah. Or you took I'm, a streetcar. Oh, yeah, the streetcar was right. You yeah. And it entered the other direction of Washington. Yeah, right. Cost you 10 cents to go. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't remember. To go to Cannonsburg, I think. I know the movie was 10 cents yes, and 11 cents. Yeah, then 12 cents and then Finleyville. Yeah. We had a movie in Finleyville, in Finleyville, but there was no movie in uh, Peter's until the Crest, I think. Crest. It, yeah, and that, mm -hmm. and that was yeah. much yeah. later. Mm -hmm. That was in the 50s. Yeah. So we had the Hollywood. Late, late 50s. You went Hollywood. to the Hollywood. You had oh, Jack yeah. Reams' right. barbecue mm -hmm. down at the Bend. Yeah, the trestle without a top on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, there wasn't too many places to go. Well, and they always had a square dance yeah, at the crossroads. We, always, we never were lack of doing something. I mean, we did a lot of things at home. And uh, it was more mm -hmm. family oriented and, uh, than. I mean, we didn't go out and look for fun. We had fun at home. You used to know all. It was at one time you knew all your neighbors and everything. Even today, you don't know all your neighbors. Are well, I imagine that was Don Hackett too. I mean, you knew, knew everyone in the whole town. Everyone there. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a question for you, um, Don and Hackett. Mm -hmm. What was the main occupation of the people there, and where did they work? Well, many of them were coal miners, and some worked in the mills. Uh, if you, mills? What mills would they work in? Oh, Clareton Mill uh, and coal mines, both in Library Hill Station, and I then after about some that. Matthews Mine. Then, of course, when right after the war in the 
46 or 47, John Chapman started Chapman Corporation. And there were a lot of young people that uh, worked there coming right out of high school, mm -hmm. like Ken Ranko, Charlie Talbin, the two Chapman, Chapman boys, my brother mm -hmm. Tony. Uh, there were Joe Digga. There were a lot of people, Jim Mervin. A lot of them worked for Chapman, you know, and uh, a lot of employees. Both big one was we called it Chapman Electric at first. Chapman, yes, Chapman Electric. electric. They put yeah. It was electric and plumbing. Yeah. And then he went to electric plumbing and heating. It was right through his home there. Mm -hmm. He had his mm -hmm. uh, business there. Now he's mm -hmm. big, big guy. Mm -hmm. Big, big mm -hmm. corporation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, all the all the brothers worked there. Yeah, mm -hmm. my yeah. brother was there for yeah thirty years until Kenny he went. Kenny Ranko. Kenny Ranko, yeah. Until he formed Lighthouse Electric about fifteen years ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, all in the township here. There have been a lot of people that have really come up in a world that mm -hmm. uh, they've gotten their own businesses or they've worked for big corporations or something like that. And, you know, I think that we should be very proud of ourselves because a lot has come out of Peters Township. Do you agree? Definitely. Well, I just heard today that from Lighthouse Electric, they, of course, they were doing the electrical down at the new stadium. And they have 800 people going to the second game. Wow. 800. 800 of them. Those are oh people that work there and, that, and their wives, so invite them all. Oh, that's oh, great. Wow. So, uh, mm, what a way to start, huh? So, yes, it's something to be very proud of your community. Oh, and yes, there were a lot of we had doctors from down there. Remember the Kachinik boys? One of them just passed away, Bob Kachinik. Yeah, Bob just died. Mm -hmm. Lou's down in South Carolina. Right. And, uh, well, then we had, uh, I thought, speaking of Lou, he married Rosemary Miller. They had right, Miller's Hardware. Miller's Hardware. Yeah. Oh, there. really? Gil Miller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the that. father was named Gil, Gilbert mm -hmm. Olson. Mm -hmm. She was a Kachinik. No, no, she married he was. Kachinik. She married, married oh, Louis Miller. Kachinik. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have Irma, our TV star. Right, <laughs> Irma's a TV star. She's been for years. Yeah. <laughs> My wife was in the, the, what was it, the cadets, uh, the Girl Scouts. We were, yeah, I was a Girl so Scout get, leader. Yeah. Norma helped me. Right. Uh -huh. Thank you very so, much. Uh, See, it's a little different going to high school in, in my days, I think, than it is now. The whole war was on. Mm hmm. The whole war was on, and a lot of the concentration was on that. Right. The, the, the fellows that worked or on the farms only went to school half a day when it was able to be farming. It went mm -hmm. half a day and you had farmed the other You had too. You couldn't go very far. No. Yes, and we took, when we were our senior year, we just took turns going in to sign up or enlist, and the whole senior class went. Did they? Oh. That was nice. We did that. They just took turns. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. No, that was different then. But also the worst part of it was that uh, you never had a uh, stable teaching staff. Mm -hmm. They would come and go. You think? Yeah. Well, that was his. You had substitutes, younger, strictly all younger. substitutes. Yeah, he, all the younger ones were gone. Mm -hmm. He's younger, so he had. They That's were right. Here. I'm younger. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm younger than you are, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, well, at least you got one phone call. Yeah, mm -hmm. one phone yeah, call. Give the number again. Every, everybody. Nine four two zero one three six. Come on, folks. You do want some notes on about <laughs> Peter's Township? So give us a call. Maybe they know all about it. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah probably maybe they do. They it. probably could tell us a thing or two. Yeah. So, <laughs> we need something to talk about, so come on. Well, even the roads were different. With first, uh, it was a brick road going from Finleyville to up Hackett Hill. Uh, I don't remember the brick road. Brick road. Oh, yeah, it was a brick oh, road. It, it was. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they, uh, mm -hmm. Then they paved over it. And it was I remember mm -hmm. the brick roads and the cobblestone roads. There was a lot of cobblestone roads mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh and, and that area. Oh, yes, well, that was a brick road, but so they yeah. would never wear out. Yeah, but they no. covered them with concrete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, they're still under there then. Yeah, but they're they still under there. Changed Beabot Road a good bit too. You had Smith's Hill, it was real steep. Oh, went real steep. Mm -hmm. A lot. Different mm -hmm. area, you know, mm -hmm. took some bad turns out. I think we mentioned the last time we were talking about the tunnel that's under Route 19. Over by uh, 
up above the Round Hotel. Went from Orr's okay. Farm across to the McCabe Farm. Okay. Which was run by the Orr's also. That's where the cattle mm -hmm. came across underneath the highway, which is still there. That, yeah, I was going to say, that uh, it's still there. is still there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is that? I remember Jim Orr and Bob Orr, you know, yeah. they moved out, sold, that's where the cemetery is now. Uh, you know, they went out to Bell Vernon. Right, I believe so. Out there. But the uh, Is that the, the Queen farm? of Heaven is hmm? now? Queen of no, 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 no. Well, that's where the Orr Over by, uh, sure, Queen of Heaven was. Queen of Orr Heaven Orr. was Orr for him. Oh well, it was. I thought that was Qu Queen of mm -hmm. Heaven. No, they didn't go that far. Yes, they did. Yeah. I believe so. Mm -hmm. That was a hopper. Oh, we have another question. At one time, my great great grandfather right. owned that. Well, well oh, here's up, something. Way up then, maybe Orr's didn't go that far. Right across from Rose Golf Station. That's where Orr's was. Across from where? Rose Golf Station, though. I don't think Orr's ever went that far. Mm -hmm. I believe so. Mm -hmm. and Jim was there. Huh? It was along think. there. It was on that side of the road. Oh, well, it's up it's above the Round Hotel yeah. is where the house and the barn was. No. Up, up towards the Dawson uh, Crossroad was the Orr Farm. Far I'm not. Do you want to call You're time thinking of Grand? <laughs> yeah, we'll go. Uh, huh? Orr's Farm was up uh, well, maybe, about maybe. where Scozio's is right now. That's I know where you're farm. talking about, but I thought when Jim mm -hmm. was going to school there and Bob, that's where they lived. I don't know. I don't think they sure. stretched that far. Maybe some of our listening audience could settle this as to where Right, we have a lot more. Because my great-grandfather owned that at one time. Did he? Mm -hmm. so, uh, okay, we have another question. Okay. Okay, what activities were there to do in Peter's? Who wants to take that one? What activities? Tina, do you want to try that? Well, like you said, we had uh, we had games at home, and uh, Monopoly. When when I was in high school, that was a popular thing, and in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and um, in our house, we we used the dining room table and we played ping pong, and we had family uh, competitions, and um, there was always something to do, and we didn't depend on um, television. We didn't have television did listen to the radio. Everybody had their ear to the radio, and that was a big thing when it first... I owe silver. Yeah, oh, I owe yeah. silver. And remember Inner Sanctum, the squeaking oh, yeah. door. Oh, yes. Jack Armstrong was on. Oh, the All-American Boy. The All-American yeah. Boy. Yeah. Gangbusters. Gangbusters. I'd wait for that siren all the time. <laughs> and, uh, and Amos and Andy. The Phantom, was it? The Phantom. Oh, yeah. Jack the, Benny. the Green Hornet was on. Green. I remember the Green and Hornet. And the Phantom Nose. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and Jack three, Benny. Mm -hmm. Three spies or I spy. I spy. Three, mm -hmm. the three brothers or something mysteries, as I recall. Like well, you had square dances, too. Oh, you oh, had square yeah, dances. Yeah. Then you had the high school activities, the, uh, yeah. the school plays and the... Uh, dances. The, the, the Churches had, a, the had, games. had some things, too, that uh, took up the space. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, not a lot of activities. No. Okay, here's, here's a good one here. Um, what did Peters start, when did Peters start to develop as a residential area instead of farming? When? Well, I would say 1950. <clears throat> That's really when the growth really started then around the, uh, the high school there and uh, People started Dambling Drive and other places, some of the farmlands. That's, I, I would say that in the that. 50s it started. Then when the new high school was built, what year was that built? It was in... This new high school, this? Mm -hmm. Not this no. addition that we're in, but... Uh, we're the old high school, where the middle school is now. Uh, no, that was built in the 30s or 19, something. 1939. 32, 29 or 32. One of, Venetia was one, and that was the other, I'm not sure which was which, but mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, development started after the war, really. There wasn't yeah, well, too see, much prior to that. 1950, a streetcar was still running. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's, I think that's when the crossroads start developing more, too. <clears throat> yes. It was around in through there. That's where you saw most of the development. Because I, I was hitchhiking time. back and forth to Washington. <laughs> hitchhiking? Yeah, I was hitchhiking to college. <laughs> there were homes being built along the main drags as far as developments were concerned. I don't think there were. Too many until the 50s. Uh, they started McGrand Hills and uh, yeah, Walter McGrand. Some of the other. That was probably uh, you see Walter McGrand's. That was probably one of the first ones I think. Yeah. And then Marion Drive, the Taylor mm -hmm. Boys. That was in the 50s too. And the Taylor. Uh, see, Toad Cheeseman's play farm was still there. And mm -hmm. see 50s. I forget when Bob Orr moved. 
He moved that. They moved, I think, very close to 1950 or so. Because mm -hmm. Jim Moore was after yeah. Bob, and he, a little Jim bit later, Jordan. they moved to Bell Barnum. Well, they also want to know is where was the first area in Peters to be developed? It's probably so McGrand Hills, as you. Grand I would Hills. think McGrand Hills would be the area as far as a well little community. Where I live now, which was uh, what they call it, Sunset Acres, oh. built by the Kaler brothers. Yes. Was well, where I live now was my great grandfather's mm -hmm. part of their farm. That taken Joyce Drive too. Yeah. Yeah. Joyce and. Uh, Marion Drive, and then yeah. Matthew's uh, farm down there behind the high school. It was after, it was in the 50s too. It was, that, uh, it was developed. And that was developed by, I think, see, the Robinson Taylor's developed the property. Was probably about, you were probably right. I think ours built our house about 1951. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a, probably second or third was built there. Mm -hmm. So that was just beginning so to develop. So you would say, uh, the, uh, well, Venetia and Hackett was already built up because they well, were Well, it was an older house. community. You'd yeah. see a new house going up one place or another. Mm -hmm. I and built a home there in 57. My brother lives in now. It was a, uh, home. But there weren't too many homes. The development started mm -hmm. like... The development started with this other end. Yes, okay. like on Marion Drive up in there in yeah. McGrand Hills. Then when you're talking off of Thompsonville Road there, mm -hmm. uh, and they did develop the Snodgrass plan. Right. Yeah. Out that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Well, where the, uh, what was the Musta house on the Snodgrass plant where we used to play, play ball. <laughs> That's that big, uh, down along, what, Old Oak Road Old or Oak whatever Road. Okay, it was right. down there. Mm -hmm. On that flat. Was that Lloyd Wright's house? He no, I forget who built it. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, my. Musty's built it. Good. But, uh, mm -hmm. Joe, I call him Joe Hollywood lived there, Hollywood Draperies. Okay, here's an answer to one of our questions. Uh, uh, Bob? McQuaid. McQuaid? No. McQuader? McQuader, yeah. He called and he said the ore farm is where the Chrysler dealership is That's now. That's right. That's right. About where Scozio's? Mm -hmm. Scozio's is. Bob said her I used to haul hay shocks there. to remember. Was that Bob said? I used to work hauling hay shocks there. In the McQuarter. Uh, Did you know him? Bob McQuarter? McQuarter. She's saying McWhorter. McWhorter. Bob McWhorter. You remember him? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're in trouble. Sorry, Bob. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so now we well, thank you very much for answering our question. And that, of course, I um, knew that. I'm <laughs> you knew that. Yeah. So Maybe I still that, disagree. <laughs> I, I didn't stretch that far down because the camp farm was in between. The camp. They didn't go on the other side of Thompsonville Road then. I mean, uh, Valley Brook Road. No, it was no, all. On, it was all on the left side. Uh, other places are supposed trying to develop across from the old the schoolhouse or the restaurant there. Right. Where is sort of stopped digging. As far as I know, that's the last piece of ore farm right there that, that was okay. sold. Is that piece right there? See, I I thought it was. Because then my uh, my relations on the other side took over at that point and went up around Valley Brook, on the Roach side. Okay. What they they had about. Uh, 10 acre, 9 or 10 acres down in that. Oh, there's flat. a lot more acreage than that there, though. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the other question is uh, what kind of uh, activities, like, uh, did uh, they have in Peters Township High School when you went there? <laughs> what the kind electives. Of what the kind electives. Of, uh, yeah. Activities. Yeah. Activities or electives. Yeah. Well, we had a debating team. I don't know if you'd call that an activity or not. But well, yeah, that was something. Sure. We had an yeah. athletic association. Yeah. I think I was the first president of the first athletic association. They're talking they about the school. But there, well, but there was, was no typing. That was in the school. In, in the school when I went. The yeah. athletic association was when we had the fair and all that. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. This, oh, was, this was in the school, like the student council oh. athletic association mm -hmm. that we had mm -hmm. also. Well, we had newspapers and yearbooks. Well, yeah, we later had on, they had yeah. yearbooks. And, uh, they were cheaper than they are now. <laughs> we had we had dances, and uh, I remember the senior class wanted to go to Washington D.C., and we decided late in the year, and we went to see Mr. Day, and we thought he isn't going to allow us to do this, but uh, there was about six of us girls went in. We surrounded these desks, and we said, the senior class wants to go to Washington D.C. 
and he looked at us all and he said, well, he said, if you can raise the money, we only had a couple months to raise it. And it, it was only something like $125. <laughs> don't forget can, you imagine, can you imagine that? But anyway, we had uh, card parties and uh, raffles and all kinds of things to raise money. And we finally raised the money and we went to Washington. We was one of the first classes that went to Washington, D.C. Yeah. Probably the last one, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we did that and we had a good time with these activities doing that. But you we got to go to Washington, D.C., and we <laughs> got to go out in Greene County someplace for a picnic, because <laughs> that's what we got. Of course, we brought the school a backstop. So yeah, but I don't think we ever bought the school. I think anything. your dances that you had, what they used then, were records. Oh, yeah, we oh, used yeah. record dances. Oh, no, we had some, uh, no. we had some orchestra. Didn't you? Oh, yeah. oh sure, yeah. Yeah, until yeah. they got the union, and then we couldn't afford them. Maybe this is Bob McClure. McClure. Yeah. I McClure. bet it is. Bob McClure, McClure. I know hey, well. Hi, Bob. Bob, yeah. uh, that's Bob hi, McClure. Bob. I know Bob quite well. He's in business for himself he's now, too. He's in uh, builds steel buildings and things, and we're old friends, and he's from Hackett before. And, well, he's uh, expanded down along the yes, area, quite too. Yes, long be about road. Yeah. yeah. If it's Bob McClure, I know him quite well. Yeah. But I can't see how he knows more about the uh, ore uh, farm than I do, though. He's guessing at it. <laughs> he's guessing. He's guessing at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a lot oh, of but, he's true, but he's right. Yeah, but he's right. He's you agree right. with yeah, him. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he is correct, yes. <laughs> we had a girls' basketball team, too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had a good oh, side did center. Too. <laughs> you were side center. I was side center. I was a forward. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now, the big, the big thing, and you mentioned it before in Peter's Township, was the farm fair. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yeah. yes, that, yes. That yes. We a, shouldn't that forget that. That was a that. real big thing. Was the farm fair. That's right. the first time I ever worked with uh, Ted Taylor and Lee Kaler. They were yeah. putting up the, the buildings up by the uh, old high school that we went to, yeah. for, uh, the fair. And uh, Herman Bennett from Murray Supply was supplying the materials that I was working well, it was with right those in that two. Field where the I was library, just a kid, unfortunately. The old library. Where the baseball field right was. Right in the middle of yeah. where the parking baseball. lot is right now. Right. Yeah. That's exactly it. So, but, yeah, well, if that was every, Bob McClure, we. Excuse me. Every um, organization in the township pulled together for that. That's right. And whenever they got the proceeds from it, they divided it up amongst the. Uh, Charities? Char no, the, no the, the groups, oh. the organization. Okay. The only thing that gets me now from the high school, we used to have a memorial or a monument out front for the World War I and World the War service. II yes, service people. Yes, I believe people. so. Mm -hmm. That was taken down Where and has it? disappeared. Where is it? That's a good question. I believe it's inside of one of the buildings. It, maybe it's right in here? Didn't I that. don't think it's this one. I think it's the old, where the old McMurray School used to be. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it may be in because I've asked us various times and nobody seems to really mm -hmm. know where it went. Hey, that's a good question for our audience. Maybe they could tell yeah, answer that. Where the memorial went. Yeah, the memorial yeah, why did you take it down? We've got a lot of questions there. <laughs> we got a few. Mm -hmm. got a few. So, uh, that's a good question. Maybe somebody can tell us. Uh, what happened I to the old I think it's inside monument. of that building somewhere, but I'm, I'm not positive. Could they have put it down here for the VFW? No. No, it's no, not. That's no, a it's new, not. That's a different one. one. Yeah. Down it's there. not yeah. down there. Uh -uh. That's I different. It's not yeah, down that's there. a different one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. is there more questions there? Yeah, there's lots of them. No, well, I, we all answered. No, I think oh, we, all we answered, answered them there. Oh, okay, I oh, thought no. you had a whole bunch of them. Yeah, unless you want to expand a little more on the the electives. The electives and the. I don't think we only had well, we, none Latin and French were two electives as far as a language was concerned when I went to high school. Yeah, that's what we I had literature, we had uh, as far as math, there was trig, geometry, solid geometry, you know. Business math was E. Paul Day's. Oh, I, I like that. That was Another a, thing they used to have in the summer that came around, like sort of like a carnival, was a, a donkey softball game. Yeah. Yes. Everybody yeah. rode donkeys. Mm -hmm. I don't remember and played that. softball. Oh, yeah. Well, they used to have a medicine show down in the Hackett almost every year back in the uh, real, late 30s. A real medicine show? Did they sell? A real medicine show. Sold medicine, oh yeah. Snake the heal all medicine, right? <laughs> Snake oil. That was it. It, yeah. it was good. That was Bill Bartram's service no. station. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they had. There was a lot of things that, uh, right? You know. And of course, the Hackett Hall has been there, the, the club there, been oh, for yeah. years. Yeah. My father was one of the founders of it. Do they want it. a commercial? 
Are they wanting? No, they're it telling you to look at the look at the camera. camera no, look at the camera. <laughs> Which uh, one? We weren't on the academies last but there week. Weren't we're not near as many, many activities as they have now, well, which may be too many activities. Oriented. They may it be too a, many activities. Yeah. It was more family oriented, I think. And we had oh, to walk yes. home from our play practices in basketball games. We played yeah, basketball. But you didn't have that far to walk. We had to walk from there to Hackett on basketball and baseball practice. <laughs> well, I had two miles. You go to a basketball game. To, on that was six miles, I think. You go on a, I didn't live in Hackett. You go on an away bus, I walk two miles up to the school, get on the bus, I go play a basketball game, and I walk two miles back that night when Me I get too. home. Me too. The way the, the crow flies, I guess, from the old high school, my son played ball there. I used to have to go from East Edgewood Drive, which you can see it over there, to pick him up after practice. <laughs> we, we walked six miles. You know, but things are different now. Oh, they're all I, together different. You know, it's so oh, completely. Not safe. <laughs> you think they're lazy? No. Well, Spoiled. <laughs> Spoiled. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so lazy. Very. <laughs> they have more pep than I would have ever had no, with all the activities yeah. now. They have more <laughs> activities. I wouldn't be able to keep up with the kids now. No. They are so. Believe me, it's tough. They're, they're terrific. You right. be better stay out of the mother's vans taking the kids somewhere. They'll run you down. <laughs> really? Yes, they will. Oh, I enjoy watching my grandchildren play sports, you know. And it's, oh, yeah. It's, it's oh, a lot yeah. of fun there. But I remember the girls' basketball team, we said, Etta Fossball always played, you know. Yeah. Well, I think the score was once 50 to 20. <laughs> Etta had 40. Etta, Etta had 40 of the points. Larry and Another Ray thing I wonder too. on basketball, how did the pant legs get so long? that they're below the knees. Mm. <laughs> Used to be real short like that. <laughs> the, young, the young group on the outside here <laughs> got a hold of that one. <laughs> Look, it's reasonable. Laugh. They catch on your knee and bother you while you're playing. <laughs> OK, we got an oh. answer. Got an answer. The VFW Memorial is now behind the old p uh, police station. Very is that good. that where it is? Behind the police station. Yep. What's this? Uh, Okay, on Why did they hide it down there? On Thomas Road, out back of Kurt's Tree Farm, there's an old concrete piers and rods. Does anyone know what this could have been? Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I know on where Thomas they're talking Road. about. Yes, I, what, where? that's the road that goes from uh, well, that's where the dairy the bar was out to uh, yeah. Thomas. You start up the hill. Yeah. Right, Thomas right. Road. Farm. It's, Joe right Morose. The end, it's right at the end of the township then. If Joe right. Morose would call in, he should know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's there, is it? Okay. Is the concrete piers, where are they? And rods. Does anyone know? I'm not familiar with that, that, that at all. I can't tell you that. That was too far from <laughs> Peter's Township. Maybe, maybe somebody, somebody, never got that far. No, that was in Peter's. But the, yeah. So they may know the listing. Yeah. No. Maybe I'm someone around there. I know what it is myself. Yeah. Well. Marge William lived across the street. Marge Williams what was provost. I can't place where that is. Is it on the same side as Kurt's farm? Is it on right. the street farm? I don't know. Well, on the Kurt's. right or left side? Don't mm. say. Well, There's some old concrete piers and rods. Must be on a right on must a Kurt's be on farm Kurt's side, side, I guess, I because. They've built a new house back on the left uh, side there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Well, Wire. That, that's a puzzle. Well, somebody I don't, might I don't know. know that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. If Can't answer knows, that. Let us know. Right. We need <laughs> Can't answer that one. We're old, but we're not antiques, right? <laughs> well, I don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> that's around in my area, too, just over the hill. Yes, yeah. it's not too far. I Keep remember waiting. traveling the road. But that's out beyond Johnson Road, where Johnson intersects. Yeah, it's on it's up. It's right by yeah, the Kurtz McMurray tree farm, farm right. On up. Mm -hmm. so, I never even uh, noticed them, to be honest with you. Well, well there was also there. the Easton Lumber Company, too. That was down in the on 50s where that coffee after, house is now. Where right, the, right. Sammy's Kofina is, right. Yeah, yeah where Kofina is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But those were the two businesses in Peters Township, which, other than a grocery store, was well, were the two, the me. McMurray Supply and the... Uh, uh, they built that building over the creek. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's where Easton Lumber yeah. was. Yeah. Right, uh -huh. Sam Easton. Mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, when we saw that being built, we thought, that's not going to work. It may not uh, yet. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> it, it, well, it's been tested a little bit. Yes, that yes, has. It Nobody has. realizes how high that creek along 
what I call Yates's, which is that poodle place below the VFW. Oh, that, flood <laughs> that flooded all Valley the Brook, now Valley Brook, every time it rained. Mm -hmm. Well, the lumberyard did flood a couple once, I know, because they lost all their typewriters and everything in the office. Oh, you mean at Easton? Easton. Not McMurray Supply, because no, it's no, up no, on no, the hill. No, no. Well, well there, before Supply. that, before McMurray Supply, there was an old mill down there in the corner. Oh, well, yeah. that was McMurray's. That was that yeah, Joe McMurray. Uh, uh, yeah. I worked for him when I was a yeah. kid cutting his grass. And well, we used to take grain there to be. Did you? Uh -huh, to, uh, Daddy would go down mm -hmm. with the horse and the wagon. And, and there used uh, to be another pond across from the uh, uh, VFW or the Poodle place there, right across mm -hmm. from the Poodle mm -hmm. haircutting, whatever it is. There was a pond there because we used to skate there. Yeah, there I remember some of that. There was a pond, yeah. 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 We used to skate it there. I think, I think the dairy bar might have filled that in. It was filled in when they mm -hmm. did it so many years back now. Mm -hmm. But that was a Yates's pond. The Yates's mm -hmm. lived in right the across Bob. the road. Bob Yates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I remember Bob Yates. He worked for Murray Supply, too. He was a truck driver then. I remember Bob well. Yeah. And Doris Yates was a classmate of mine in K uh, 49. Uh, Roberta Rennie worked for uh, Bennett, Herman Bennett. Did Roberta Robert. work there? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Afterwards, yeah. My brother Ernie worked there, and Bob Yates, and uh, uh, I'm trying to think of someone else. Uh, uh, well, before it was a lumberyard, even, uh, Joe McMurray had, had a, a feed a, supply a feed there, supply. and fertilizer. Because I remember mm. going there. And, uh, Bob yeah. and Bill, I think, his two sons. So. Mm. Yeah. I can remember and, seeing it, no, but it was torn Bill, and, Bill and, uh, Jim. and Jim. Jim. Bill and Jim, Jim. right. Jim. Yeah, Jim mm -hmm. McMurray. Bob was the other. Bob was the other from McMurray. Yeah, the other McMurray. <laughs> They're cousins, I believe. Yeah, they are cousins. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's so, well, I'm still baffled about this. Uh, these uh, concrete piers and rods. No. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I don't think I, don't, I ever noticed them. I, I never noticed either. them. I can't think what it might have gone through. It was maybe somebody had a light out there yeah. a long time ago. Lighthouse. Yeah, the piers. Huh? No. <laughs> I imagine I those are larger piers than that, but I, I can't remember even looking at them. Was it a railroad or something? Remember? It could have been. Well, <laughs> there was supposed to have been a railroad uh, that went down by the Cannonsburg Dam, but it never did get completed, right? I don't remember that. Well, whoever yeah, called I this think question they started in, perhaps it, they would be a little completed. more specific as to where exactly this is and if we could or even see it I don't it think that would even help us, Irma. I don't it think wouldn't it help me. I, 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 I know exactly where it, it is. Uh, I'm blind I'm as sure. far as... I think it's on the right-hand side, Kurt's side, but I... And it starts up the hill there, and, it, and I don't know... Well, if it goes up the hill, it's not in Peter's. Well, Kurt's is right at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, right. Kurt's is right at the end yeah, of Peter's Yeah, because it does break there somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, that doesn't matter whether it's in Peter's or wherever it is. We it's still, still don't know what it is. We don't know. And I don't... <coughs> uh, we have the the community of there were communities before like Hackett, Venetia, and then Thompsonville and mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. crossroads. We the villages crossroads. and the hamlets of Peter's mm -hmm. Township. Mm -hmm. We called them the hamlets. Hamlets. But the majority of the, the students when I, I went to high school, I, I, I think something hamlets. was Shakespeare or somewhere in there. Yeah, <laughs> No. Well, we just want to class it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thompsonville, Paris Lake. Well, that's not. Yeah, part of that was in Peter's. Peter's yeah. right. Yeah. Paris Lake. That was another activity. We used Tavern, to be swimming yeah. at Paris Lake. Yes. There was also there was two lakes there. Ice skating there. at night. Two lakes. Paris, the swimming pond and the fishing pond in the back. Okay. And we ice skated on the. Oh, yeah, what right. about Lake Joanne? It came in the fifties uh, oh. too. Uh, Lake Joanne, yeah. late forties or fifties. Well, we used to when, go. Uh, uh, Joe Bracco uh, stripped yeah. the coal out of there and then put the, uh, put the lake, yeah. two ponds in there, the trot pond, and it, lay, it just cl just closed up, I believe, uh, a few years ago. The carp yeah. pond and uh, they, they need they're still there. Houses. They're still there, but <laughs> they're not. They have all those nice houses. Oh yeah, yeah. so <laughs> long. Mm -hmm. Well, we used to go skating up at Petronas's farm, uh, the pond. That was up on Springdale Road. <laughs> That's where we used to go. We'd always okay. have a big bonfire, and uh, we'd go skating there. And that, so. uh, Get Beach. away from Peter's. What I, something I was trying to think of the other day. What was the name of the amusement park up? Uh, Reading Park? Uh -huh. Up at a, by where an A&S is on 19th. Amusement Park. Amusement, amusement park. park there. 
gee, I don't Where know of any old? amusement park. Oh, I went there. They had roller coasters. They did? Uh, up by a &S? Temporarily? Up there were, or? No, they were permanent. Up there by the barn, at the restaurant, the barn, there was an amusement park right there. I, don't I can't remember. think of the name of that amusement park. Well, we Bob didn't LaFleur, have any. What's the name of that amusement park? <laughs> Bob wouldn't know. <laughs> it was his time, but he might have. He might have a. Bob's sample younger than I am, so he, he still remembers. He things. still has the Hollywood sign in these basements. Oh, does he? Oh, yes, okay. he, does. he does. Oh my heaven! Oh. So. Yes. Yeah, so, it's. But I went through there the other day. Like, what's the name of that amusement park? And I can't think of it. I never. Amusement recall. park. I don't remember. Did it belong to Donaldson? No, no. This is way mm -hmm. up towards. Almost to the racetrack on 19. Oh, oh. Almost, almost to the racetrack. I said Peter's I'm getting Township. away from Peter's a little. Yeah, bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting good. away from Peter's, but almost to the racetrack. The mm -hmm. brow of the hill for you started down. There was a big amusement park. At least oh. I thought it was big on my day. I don't yeah, the only I ones that I can it. recall was mm -hmm. Olympia Park at when it was, was Westview and Kennywood. Yeah. We've always went to Kennywood, or we went to. Westview when I was in high school. No, that that was another big day at Peter's. I guess yeah, was Kenny oh, going to Kenny yeah. Wood and the other things. which still is, I guess. Still is a big day. Mm -hmm. Sort of a big day. But there are bigger days in between. Oh, we had another we had another holiday. Of course, the first day of hunting season. <laughs> oh, yes. Everybody took off. All all the boys in school all took off. All the boys off hunting. there were many boys. We went in hunting school. and. You had to report to the office the next day, and Mr. Day would say, well, what did all you fellows get? And that was the end of it. We went back to classes then. He was a nice principal. I enjoyed Mr. Day. He was a very Day. nice principal. Mm -hmm. He, didn't, he took no, no nonsense. No. We all yeah. called him Pappy. Pappy, Pappy Day. Day. Pappy Day. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So, this has been very interesting in that. In it has, Irma. Uh -huh. Surprisingly, you got some calls. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Did Gee, you I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. so well, thank we thank everybody that called. Yes, right, we thank right. them all. You yeah. still got time for a couple more too. If, uh, if somebody knows right. what those posts yeah, are, yeah, what, those, what right. the concrete uh, concrete are. posts are, call. Well, that would have yeah. to be Give them the number again. But there was okay. A, the number is nine four two zero one three six. So uh, if we, if anybody can answer that question, I'm very curious to know the answer. In that, well, uh, you used to have. Uh, square dances on top of Sprouls and Hickson service station mm -hmm. up the Dolls. At, that's Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin Center. Oh. That's not Dolls and Sprouls Road. No, it's called Pumpkin Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin. Pumpkin Center. Pumpkin. 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 Center. Pumpkin, 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 Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pumpkin Center. Yeah. That's where it was. Uh, I don't recall of any uh, manufacturing or industry in Peters Township. No. Then, uh, there wasn't. No. There were a couple well, of small mines that were operational just Wilkinson's mine out on Turkey Foot Road, but uh, and a of couple other Way, way building. back, everybody was a shoe repair man. Well, there was, <laughs> uh, uh, what you call them, uh, fishing horses, blacksmith shops. Oh, blacksmith shop yeah. was there in Hackett, right. Yeah, there's one in Hackett, there's one up on Bar Hill Housman, Road. yeah, that was. So the one up on Bar Hill Road, I think it still has the uh, curse or whatever they mm -hmm. call it inside there. Well, they had the blacksmith shop right across from Thompsonville School. Oh, did they? Yeah. Mr. Sankovich. Mm -hmm. And the kids went to school at Thompsonville. Yeah. They had mm -hmm. one down here near uh, Bill Bartram's, too. Mm -hmm. They did? Yeah. yeah. I don't recall yeah, that one. I used to go there, and then it went over on uh, uh, Churchill Road. Churchill Road, yeah, right. That, that's Churchill. the one I recall. Mm -hmm. It was there for a good many years. And they had square dances at Devore's Big Barn. It's still there mm -hmm. going down. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that road? Going to Venetia? Be a bat road. Venetia From Thomas. Road. No, no, that's the Ven uh, Finleyville, Venetia, or Venetia Thomas Venetia Road. Or Thomas Venetia Thomas Road. road. The it's other right one just there. Thomas It's still road. there, but they don't have square dances right. anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a big thing, was the square dances. That was fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun. <laughs> Even if you didn't know how to do it. That's right, that's what it was more fun. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> no. Was it. Was it your dad? <coughs> or no. was that um, Donna's dad? He square danced until he was 91 years old. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Ernie Fisher used to call squares, mm -hmm. Yeah. as I recall. Of course, Ron Sopka did a lot of work in Peters Township as far as excavation with his father-in-law developing a didn't Robinson he, construction. Didn't he develop over on uh, Byron Hill Road? Mm-hmm. They bought the old Reese farm and 
uh, Vic Dossey, they did a lot of, brought a lot of property in from Ted Taylor mm -hmm. and developed all that properties. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's been, those were well, Venetia boys and Hackett boys. Yeah, it comes around. Mm -hmm. I have two granddaughters that moved to Venetia in the Cornerstone. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They course, only live up, there's a house in between them. Of course, when that began to build, an acre was $200. Right. Not now. There Not now, go. but that's oh, what I'm saying. Question. When it first started, it was $200 an acre. Drive. Okay, this caller lives in Holly Drive in the old farmhouse. Holly Drive. The blue, I know where it the is. blue and pink. Do you know what was produced there? Was it uh, an apple orchard? Do you know anything else about this? Where's Holly Drive? Holly, Holly Drive, right Drive. across from, uh, I think, uh, Right by Center Church Road. Holly Drive. Isn't that Holly Drive, the next street down that goes going towards the high school here? <clears throat> or going up from the high school here, I think Holly Drive is on the right, right before you get to Center Church Road. That's between, right after the uh, uh, photographer's place there, you know, the... The Jansman, Frank Jansman House? Where the, there used to be, where those houses are built on the Jasmine Pond, is that where? The, that's, um, oh, I forget. The or the house yeah. down. Yeah, that's where my niece lives. Oh, we oh my God, no, I, it's I, going down the hill from um, Johnson Road. Or no, Center, Center, Church, Center Church, Church, Church Road, Church, right. It's on the left. On McMurray yeah. Road, the Center Church okay, Road, coming from the high right school. Right across from the Anthony Farms. You have yeah, to, right. Right, right across well, from there. The, uh, that was the Frank Jasmine place, and they had sheep. Then they had this pond with fish in it, the older house back. Mm -hmm. That's right where uh, John Unice's brother, not brother, uncle or something oh, that lived was, there. Uh, well, that was the photographer. To, right. Yeah. Russ Daly lived in that house at one time there. That's an older okay. house. The Millers lived there. John but this Miller house sits right in between there. There's one across <coughs> Center Church. There's a vacant lot and then this one. Right by Holly Drive, I think. But that's Holly. That, that was the Jansman. Is that I don't what know it how was? Many, uh, I don't know. Well, they had five or six acre in there, maybe something like that. And well, they did have some sheep, a little bit of sheep, and mm -hmm. uh, it, and it, was it an apple orchard? Was it ever an apple orchard that you can remember? Or I don't remember. It could have been right across the way. It was well, the Anthony Farm. It's still there, I think. I know the Anthony Farm is yeah, yeah, still there. Still there. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they had. Got one minute, Ken. Jansmus mm -hmm. didn't. He worked in ceramics, and he really wasn't interested in the in growing apples or anything at that time. But the the pond was there. Well, I know the pond was there. The which tracks the house is built on right now. Mm -hmm. so, but I don't remember if uh, they had a few sheep. I mean, nothing spectacular, but two or three or whatever. And but I don't remember them growing. Whose farm would that have been? Would have been where the school is was the Strauss? Boyd no, uh, Fulkins. Fulkins Farm. Fulton? Fulton no. Farm would be Sprouse. It was right, far to right below where we are now, towards the crossroads. Somewhere was the Boyd Fulkins Farm. The Dorothy Sprouse lived in in where the Yeah, right somewhere here. along there too, yeah. yeah. Okay. But the Fulkins mm -hmm. were along here too. F O L K E N S. Mm. So somewhere there, those farms could have been way back then, feasibly. Mm. Well, I want to thank all of you for calling in, and it's been wonderful. And uh, thank you again so very much. And I want to thank my guests, Boyd Roach, Tina, Catherine, Tina Day, Dames, Wagner, <laughs> yeah, right. okay, and uh, Herman Meckix. And uh, it was a very interesting evening, and I learned something tonight, and I hope you all did too. So uh, this is Irma Grego from Senior Perspective. Thanks again.